The Mi 8 SE was my favorite Mi 8 and the Mi 10 might not even have an SE. So this SE might be a really, really super special edition, the Mi 9 SE. So I just had to get my hands on it. So here it is. And in today's video, let's unbox it and take a quick look. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. The Mi 9 SE comes in a regular looking Xiaomi box with some of the highlights mentioned to the back as usual. Let's remove the plastic and open up the box. Inside we have another box as it seems to be the trend these days. This one houses the SIM injector pin, a Type-C to 3.5mm converter, yep, no jack here, and some regular booklets. There's also a silicone case included which is always a nice touch. We then have the Mi 9 SE itself, peeling the stickers of the back, and here's our first look at this gorgeous glass pack. Brilliant, isn't it? Let's put it in its case and set it aside for the moment, and we get back to the box. We then have a Type-C cable and an 18 watt charger. Now most of you who've seen our Mi 9 unboxing video must already be thinking how similar these two look from their outer appearance. The SC has the same glass sandwich design with metal rims to the side, a similar looking triple camera setup, seems like everything right down to the reflective rim around the camera, it's the same on both phones. In fact, for all intents and purposes, the Mi 9 SC looks and feels like a smaller Mi 9. It is around 10mm shorter, a bit narrower and weighs in at just 155 grams. 18 grams lighter than the bigger Mi 9, to be precise. Overall, the Mi 9 SE feels more suited for single-handed usage. That's thanks in large to the smaller 5.97-inch AMOLED panel that we have in here. Xiaomi has done a great job keeping bezels to a minimum. We only have a tiny teardrop notch up top, and the bezels are minimal all around. Taking a look around the rest of the device, we have the IR blaster up top along with the secondary noise cancelling microphone. The power button as well as the volume rockers are both present to the right. And the left is, well, left clean except for that dual SIM card tray. No Mi AI button this time around. Finally, we have the Type-C port speaker grill as well as the primary microphone to the bottom. Of course, since this is a part of the premium Mi lineup, there's no headphone jack. Just like the Mi 9, the SE sports an in-display optical fingerprint scanner too. And as per our initial testing, it seems to be as fast and accurate as the one on the flagship Mi 9. Good job, Xiaomi. Coming back to the panel itself, the aspect ratio here is 19.5 by 9, the resolution is Full HD+, and being an AMOLED panel from Samsung, we have vibrant looking colors and inky blacks. Now moving on to the internals, we have the Snapdragon 712 in here, the Mi 9 SE is the very first phone to sport this 10 nanometer chipset and I'm very eager to see how it performs. We also have 6 gigs of RAM to go along with 64 gigs of onboard storage. As far as battery goes, the Mi 9 SE it is 0.1mm thinner than the Mi 9 and of course overall smaller so the battery capacity is lesser. So it is 7% lesser, 3070mAh. As far as software is concerned, you guys know by now what we can expect, right? It's MIUI 10 on top of Android 9 Pie and we've seen it so many times in the past. Here's a card to an in-depth video on the same. All the features are present and accounted for here including the always on display functionality. So that said, let's move on to cameras. The primary here is the same as the Mi 9. We have the 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 along with an ultra wide as well as a telephoto secondary and tertiary cameras. Xiaomi has sacrificed a bit here. The ultra wide has dropped down from 16 to 13 and the telephoto, well, it's gone from being a 12 megapixel snapper to 8 megapixels. Now, despite the spec downgrade on paper, the Mi 9 SE still captures some really good looking shots. Of course, the 48 megapixel primary shines as usual, but take a look at the detail on the dog's fur from this 8 megapixel telephoto. Quite good, right? And when it comes to the 13 megapixel ultra wide, here are some sample shots. The details might not be as impressive as the one shot with the Mi 9, but I have to say they're still pretty good looking shots, right? Turning around to the selfie shooter, we still have the same 20 megapixel front snapper that we've seen before on the Mi 9. The picture quality remains impressive. Now, the Mi 9 SC starts at 1999 yuan in China, which translates to about 20,500 Indian rupees or about 300 US dollars. Now, that's 1000 yuan lesser than the original Mi 9, which means the SE is almost 10,000 rupees cheaper than the Mi 9. In my opinion, the only major difference between these two phones is the wireless charging capabilities and the SoC. 
the Snapdragon 855 is quite a bit ahead than the Snapdragon 712 here, yes. But other than that, the Mi 9 SE has almost similar cameras, the same AMOLED panel from Samsung, fingerprint sensor, and overall the same look and feel as its flagship sibling. So I think the Mi 9 SE might be a stellar offering in markets it's available, but will Xiaomi launch it in other markets? I mean, do you think they should make it available in more markets? I mean, I do think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it, because we are at the end of this video and it is time I bid you adieu. Also subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And have you watched these videos? If not, check them out. And also our other channel, FTJ. And I guess that's it till next time. My name's Ash, you've been watching C4ReTech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.